What is up guys? This is Zach from Anglers Escape and today I have three more bass fishing tips for you guys and this is based off scientific research. I'm a student at the University of Missouri, Kansas City so I get a lot of free access to articles through the library system and so I'll post some of those articles over here and I want to go over three high yield tips for bass fishing. The first one is how long bass remember lures. Two studies found that bass can remember lures from two to six months, meaning when they try to fish a pond repetitively with the same lure, once a fish was caught on something like a square bill crankle bait, it would take two to six months before it was the same catch rates with that same lure again. So what this means is you really want to be changing up your baits and trying different things. They also found that plastic worms have the least memory for bass. So if you're fishing a heavily fished body for bass, you want to use one of those plastic worms because they're less likely to remember it and forget about that they were caught on one of those worms in a quicker time period. The other interesting thing is that they said in a lot of colder bodies of water, when people didn't fish the body of water for six months, the bass had forgotten everything over the previous year. And then early on, the crankbaits and every lure was working. And then as the year progressed and it's gotten heavier fishing, the lures that other people hadn't been using or those plastic lures were used working better. So bass do remember the lures. And remember, use a plastic lure in heavily fished bodies of water. And oftentimes at the start, when it starts to warm up again, the bass have forgotten all the lures that they were thrown at last year because they've had a good five to six month reprieve from fishing. Another very interesting study that was done was the lunar cycles and their effect on bass fishing. And what the study found is that there was almost no effect on bass fishing as, as far as their catchability and their movement patterns when they were tracked with a radio label based off the moon phase. And so they concluded really you're not going to catch them better or worse at certain times of the moon cycle, which was interesting. They did, however, with those radio tractors, find some interesting facts out about the bass. For one, they found they were in shallower water at night and moved out to deeper water during the day for most parts of the year. So definitely consider fishing shallower at night. The other thing they found, which was interesting, is they're five times more active in the summer. It makes a little bit more sense because when it's warmer, they're more metabolically active. The bait fish are more dispersed, so they're going around different areas. And they found people caught a lot more bass or those radio trace bass in the summer months because they're more active moving around. Also probably a fair more fishermen. But basically off those studies, don't worry about the moon cycles and at night fish a little shallower. All right guys, and a third and final study I wanna talk about is one that radio traced bass or radio labeled bass and they found where they congregated on, on certain structures and they found the bass congregated to the more complex structures, whether that was man-made or artificial. So docks, which are a man-made structure, bass really like because it was a complex structure, a lot of different cables and everything else coming down or you could even have a plastic Christmas tree with a bunch of different branches and that worked just as good as a real tree. But the less complex the structure, so the fewer branches, anything like that, the fewer bass would hang out in those areas. So they found the more complex the structure, the more bass that hung out there. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, best of luck fishing.